Um, yeah. Do you come across a lot of uh, religious beliefs or people's sense of right and wrong that's interrupting their ability to be fully their oh, sexual selves? Ab- absolutely, absolutely. And another tip I always give women is, you know what? You should live, be scandalous. Be scandalous as much as you can and understand that being scandalous only means stepping outside the predetermined borders that somebody has set up for you. And so often in that, it's the religious or the three P's, as I call them, the parents, the preachers, and then the public, who has their opinions of who you're supposed to be. And so when you kind of have that secret life, and it doesn't have to be anything, and it shouldn't be anything that goes against your own moral code, but anytime there's something that you want to do, whether it's sexual or slightly out of your comfort zone, you have to look at it and say, "Do I? is this making me uncomfortable because this is who I am or because somebody told me I'm supposed to feel that way? And I think when you begin to investigate those thoughts and feelings, you understand that so much of it is not based on your own truth and your own moral code, but everything that we've been taught as a good girl that we're supposed to not do. And we're really tied to words and values that we don't go through our life and really look at and investigate based on who we are and the way we live our life. We just take them as, you know what, this is how it's supposed to be because somebody told me this.